In the second video, I'm going to take you through the second part of the D lesson. So for number three, your table should have been 33, 11, negative 22, negative 44, and negative 55. Please show work on that other piece of paper or the back of a module page and make sure that you also hole punch it and put it in your module. Let's look at a couple of examples from this last row and I'm going to let you try the rest. Number four, we're going to use the equation y equals negative 4x minus 1. So we start with this table with knowing the y value and needing to find the x value. And the y value is 19. So we're going to plug in 19 for y and we're going to solve for x. We also probably want to do our sign change. So we're going to do some equation solving and the first step is to move the 1 away from the x. This comes out to be 20. Then we're going to get rid of this negative 4 coefficient, that's with x, by dividing by negative 4. And 20 divided by negative 4 is negative 5. So x equals negative 5. So for some of these tables, we'll have to do some equation solving to find the missing parts. Next one we're going to do is, it tells us that y is going to be 7, and we're going to solve for what x will be. So the equation solving steps are going to be the same, but the numbers on the left side are going to be different. This time, 7 plus 1 is 8. Divide both sides by negative 4 like we did on the last one. And this time 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2. Then it gives us 3. So we're going to set our equation equal to 3. Add 1 to both sides. Divide both sides by negative 4, and 4 divided by negative 4 is negative 1. You'll notice the table is going up, so this has a nice pattern. Now we're going to go and we're going to do the other way, the easier way, which is now we're going to plug in 3 and 4 for x. Excuse me. So uh, first one is to plug in 3, so negative 4 times 3 plus negative 1. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12 plus negative 1. y equals negative 13. And we're also going to plug in positive 4. Negative 4 times 4 is negative 16 plus negative 1 is negative 17. Again, so we see this nice pattern in both columns. If we don't see that, then we know we're doing something wrong. I'll do a little bit of number 5. I'm going to leave the rest of 5, 6, and 7 for you to do, and the key will be in Google Classroom. Please show your work for the tables for 5 and 6. So the next one, number 5, is y equals 5x plus negative 4. They start the table with giving us the x value, so we just plug that in. We're going to plug in negative 6 for x, which is negative 30 plus negative 4. You add two negatives, they stay negative. That gives us negative 34. If I'm going too fast, please feel free to pause the video or go back. Then they give us the y value, which is negative 19. And we're going to solve for x. Negative 19 plus 4. Negative 19 is more dominant. So we get a negative number, and 19 minus 4 is 15. Divide both sides by 5, 
and we get negative 3 is our x value. And the last one is we're going to plug in, that I'm going to show you and you're going to finish the rest, is we're going to plug in 0, and that's usually one of the easier values to plug in. So 5 times 0 plus negative 4, this turns out to be a 0, plus the negative 4 is negative 4. Please show your work for the remainder of 5s and 6, and check it with the key in Google Classroom, and please also do number 7.